Okay, so this is Nico D's Ambient Gaming build on the Cadus Edge 2. And I wanted to show it on this device because the installation method is so simple. Now I saw this recent post on the Armory Discord. Dear community, we're happy to present your new Ambient Gaming test images for various RK3588 boards. So don't switch off just yet if you haven't got a Cadus Edge 2. So we click on the link, that takes us to a web page where you can see that we've got versions for the Indie Droid Nova, Cadus Edge 2, Megatronics R58, 58X and 58X 4G, Orange Pi 5, Rock 5A and Rock 5B and they all came out on the same date. So I've downloaded the Cadus Edge 2 version and it was super easy to install. So we go into Terminal and type in nicod ambient gaming you'll get this menu and you can install Box64, which basically allows you to play Box64 games or apps on an ARM device. Same with Box86, but older. We've got Wine64 and Wine86, uh, so that gives you Windows compatibility. Wine Tricks as well, which is all related to the Wine bit. Steam, to install Steam games, whether they're Windows or Linux. Build and install PPSSP, so that's an emulator. There was Dolphin on here, but uh, it's been withdrawn because it's not working properly at this stage. Now I've installed this Android emulator and I've also installed Zonotic. And all you do is you pick a number and it automatically installs and updates and does it all for you. So if I close this down and go back into the terminal. So the to play Zonotic, we go CD Zonotic and then dot forward slash all run. And if we go, we're just going to single player just to show that it runs really well. And play campaign. I've got a mouse plugged in because the, obviously the trackpad's no good for first person shooters. So let's join and show you that it... Now you can see from this, it is super fast. It really works well. And there's an online element to this, but I'm not really good at it. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna die, even with the bots. But it is really frantic and really enjoyable to play. Oh, I can go through here that. Like. But as you can see, it just runs perfectly on this device. No struggling at all. Ooh. Now in the documents, there is uh, under Army and Gaming, if you go to this README, uh, and there wasn't anything to read this with, so I installed Mousepad, sudo apt install Mousepad and uh, that allowed me to open this file and if we scroll down through you can see there's instructions on how to use various different things so on the android emulator we need to go to terminal and we need to pop this in and it looks funny like this but uh, don't worry it does sort itself out you can see we have Android running, uh, and it's basically like having a phone uh, with Android, and you have the Play Store, although I don't think it was activated when I tried it. But yeah, Google device isn't Play protected. But Magisk is on there, so you might be able to follow one of the guides to be able to get the Play Store up and running. But I thought that was quite an interesting take. Nico D has a YouTube channel and shows a lot more games and various things to do with Ambient Gaming. So check out his channel if you want to know more about it or see more videos on Ambient Gaming. Now I mentioned before how incredibly easy this was to install this operating system on the Cadus Edge 2. I think they've really got it sussed for how to install an operating system. And I'm going to show you how to do it on a different operating system. One I really like which is OpenFide. So if we go to the browser and type in OpenFide. See it comes up scroll down and find your device so you can see there's loads of devices that are supported with OpenFide uh, FideTab Duo, the little tablet I've got which is on a Kickstarter Rock 5B, Orange Pi 5, Edge 2, Rock Pi 4B, Firefly, all sorts of things on here so the one I'm using at the moment is obviously this one, the Callus Edge 2 if you go to the repo and this is this bit's the same on, on any of the devices uh, you would find their latest build and 108 was the one that they added Android support to Chrome OS. But unfortunately not for the Raspberry Pi 4. I really wanted to do a video on the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with Android in Chrome OS in, in OpenFide because it works really well with FideOS, which is the paid for version. If we scroll down, 
you just have to download this and download it to a USB stick. Well, I've already downloaded it and I've got it on this USB stick as well as this build of Ambient Gaming. So I'm gonna pop that into my little dock here. I'm only using a USB sound card because it allows me to keep the audio away from my sound capture and I can control the volume. Uh, I wouldn't normally need to have that plugged in. So now if I press the middle button and then the button nearest to the screen and leave it, Callus Uwau starts up. Now there are loads of things on here and I went into more detail on one of my Callus Edge 2 or any of my other Callus videos. But uh, if you hit continue, uh, what it will do is take you to their download repository where you can just install an operating system straight to the MMC literally just by clicking on it. But I don't want to do that because I want to install one that was downloaded separately. So let's hit cancel. Go to right image to EMMC. If I click on one, that will show me my USB stick. And then I've got some folders on here and one of them is this CADAS folder. And you can see the operating system there, Edge 2 Open Fight. So if I click on that and let it do its magic. It's all automated, you don't have to do anything to it. We get a warning, but let's just hit continue and install and come back when that's all done. So it's just finished, so we just need to hit reboot. And it says eject the SD card, so we'll pull out the little USB stick and hit reboot. And after a very short amount of time, Open Fide starts booting up. As simple as that. And in this version of Open Fide, Android is just already working. So if we go to the browser and say, for instance, we search for Aptide, which is an Android store. We can click on that, click on download and download. You can see we can save it. Once that's done, we can do show in folder. And if we double click it, we can just hit install. And then open. So that's an Android app installed. You can see it's Windows uh, or we can go full screen. Super, super easy. Uh, I did another test on this on the Orange Pi 5 and I showed Minecraft and a few other things running. The Android support's really good on it. But the great thing about it is that you also have this full desktop experience as well which is a really nice way of doing it. But also I mentioned before you've got Linux, but you do need to enable that, but it's super easy to enable that. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, so if I go down to settings, click on settings here, type in Linux. Now this is a, I don't know, it's 128 gig drive, I think. So we'll do set up Linux environment and we'll give it 20 gig. So let's turn it on. Next, pick a name, customize the size if you want to. I think 20 gigs is going to be enough and install. While it's doing that, let's test a bit of the multitasking because we've got loads of RAM on this device. Uh, and let's go back to Aptide and let's just show how easy it is to install an app. So we just go to cut the rope. This is not on a touch screen, but I can use the, I'm pretty sure I can use the mouse for this. And allow. And you can see the Linux environment has come up on the top here. So we can do sudo apt install xmoto. I wasn't looking at what I was doing then. Do sudo apt install xmoto. And yes. So we click on install and install. And let's open that up. Oh, it looks like this wants to hog the full screen. And I've just switched the audio on. Uh, you can see it detected my little USB sound card. So we go back to the game and just skip on to the next one. And you can see, and so now we have sound as well. Close down the Android app, and then we can go back to Linux and launch Xmoto, although it does give you a little icon down here, so anytime you install Linux apps, they actually come up, uh, so you can see Xmoto is showing up here, the terminal is showing up here as well. And let's just randomly pick something, and you can see that's working. 
Ooh, that's a difficult level. Uh, and if I wanted to do something like uh, an office suite, sudo apt install Libra office, and yes. And while it's doing all that, let's go back into the browser and go to YouTube. It definitely multitasks really well. I mean, this device has got uh, 16 gig of RAM, so it definitely should do. Let's just play a bit of this. I'm on a 1080 monitor at the moment. Let's see if we can go, oh, it only lets us go up to 1080, but you'll see that it won't struggle with this. Super snappy operating system. Yeah, no frames dropping. Very nice, and that's while it's running that Linux environment in the background as well. And you can see I've got tabs open. Still installing, 45%. Let's close everything down. And this goes full screen as well. And the fan just came on and went off again. So this also has PWM fan control. So it only comes on when it's needed, which is great. It's quite a big install. It does seem to be installing loads of components into it. I know you can customize this. Okay, that's all done. Let's have a look and see what happens. Oh yeah, so we've just got the ordinary icons. LibreOffice Writer. Impress, draw, calc, and base. Uh, so let's start this one up. You can see it starts up pretty quick. Yeah, it looks exactly as it should. So we pick a theme here. And we can edit the text. Can we copy from the Chrome browser? So we get an image. Uh, so let's try Callus Edge 2. See if we can get an image of that. Probably be able to take one of these ones off eBay. So can we copy and paste it into that document? I'm not sure if we can. Oh, right clicking seemed to give me an option. Yeah, so we can copy and paste that image in. Might want to uh, get rid of the background, but it's nice to see that that's working. Okay, so very impressed with that. It is a really nice operating system to use on a single board computer. Very fast, very well supported. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.